This is the story of two young guys, bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls. But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Okay, okay. I just hope you don't miss something while playing. All I'm asking is that you take a look inside that green satchel. I'll take care of it, as long as you leave us alone after. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, uh, no. It's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. See you soon. I sense trouble. The Murrays are really very nice people. When we were children, Ronald and I often played with Cooper, but after the divorce, he went to live with his mother. 
one of the countless houses of the Wayne family. Mr. Wayne is not often seen here in the city. He never stops by to talk with anyone. That house has been for sale for years, but nobody has ever seen the owners. Nor is it clear if the mysterious Mr. Richards even really exists. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. I must say that he has the softest fur. Nothing soft about you stepping on my back. Hi, Bear. What's new? Nothing, since I'm forced to stare at the sink. Hope I'll be luckier in the new house. How do you feel about this move? I hope I don't end up in a bathroom in front of another dripping sink, or I'll go completely crazy. You better find a way to get out of this house and into that van. What are you waiting for? Now I have to go, Bear. I guess so. It's fine where it is. I don't know what's more disgusting, this or the hair removal strips of Ronald's mother. You've probably already figured out I'm not exactly an ace. In my defense, you have to admit that it's not easy to throw without real joints. You're embarrassing. That's it. This isn't like reading tea leaves in a cup. There's nothing in there I want to see. Don't think you can put everything that pops into your head inside my ribcage. Next player, please. I'm tired of this one. Don't you think you're going too far? Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. What a blow. Let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. I won't deny that idea could be funny, but I don't think the people on the street would appreciate the humor. Haha, <laughs> hi. Hi, little bag of bones. Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart. Right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise, I, I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. You don't look too good. How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? Mm, fine. That's okay. There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. See you around. Living microorganisms abound in there, but I doubt they would be able to answer me.
please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. I don't like games of chance. It must be a slot machine gas station. Do you speak English? I think I'm living proof of how awfully wrong this all is. Um, living, so to speak. I don't feel like rummaging through the dumpster. I understand the crisis and all, but can you really not find a better job than this? I don't think I can wake him up. And I don't want anyone to see me in this outfit, anyway. Come on, let's get a move on! Don't laze around! Sorry, sir. Can I bother you for a second? Don't you see? I'm really busy right now, boy. Are you blind? Tell me this is a joke. What are you doing exactly? I'm working, unlike all those incompetent slackers. But you are blind. Not at all. I can see perfectly. I don't need anyone's help. Which number am I making with my fingers? Four. Okay, at least now we know we're not dealing with one more fake cripple. You really have strange taste when it comes to clothing. Brown and black are absolutely classic, boy. Timeless. But actually, you... You young people today don't understand a thing. Go back to your hipster flaps and pursue a living in bad taste. Your tenacity is very impressive. So, do you ever stop? We need someone who keeps everybody up. I can't afford to rest. It's hard work, but someone has to do it. And when, for example, you need to go to the toilet? I always carry my traveling catheter for emergencies. I really need to go. Well, uh, see you around, boy. Hey, that's a banana, not a hammer. He seems a little anxious to me. Dogs and bones aren't the best combination. It would be better to and leave I've it alone. I've for years in the Union for people like you. If you have a gangster past, maybe now's the time to mention it. Back in my day, the screws were tight. They're a bit musty, but... Ah, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometime be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated circumstance where you show your negligence. But thanks for the tip. Nice place you have here. Were you and Tutankhamun relatives? No, it's because I see a strong resemblance. Maybe it's the nose. I could have sworn it, you know that? I got it. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow of silence. Damn it, I was sure I was right this time. Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? Seriously, don't be so modest. I would stay and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume to impose upon your time. I could justify such an action only if you show me you're on hallucinogens. A little too heavy. 
There's still some gas in it if one day you ever decide to follow in the footsteps of my grandpa. If by any chance you're asking me to drink it, well, don't count on it. Cheers! Where that door led, and for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. I really have to ask you this looking for a lift to the ninth underworld? It's a hard life for hitchhikers. Zeno has always been an introverted guy, but I consider him a dear friend. I rarely saw him not holding a novel. Never seen such a passion for books. As unbelievable as this sounds, Ronald's father bought it years ago in anticipation of his own funeral. He found it on sale at a mortuary fair. He won't be happy at all when he finds out those morons have damaged it. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. How did this get in here? Computer, deactivate! Negative, sir! Are you refusing to execute one of my orders, soldier? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do differently, sir. Computer, update. The situation is under control, sir. There are no circumstances that could jeopardize the bystander's safety or the correct operation of home devices. Well done, soldier. At ease. Computer, dismiss. Now I finally have the courage to tell you. A while back, I skipped dinner. Please, Grandma, don't look at me that way. Stop glaring at me, all judgy-eyed. Okay, you win. I'll go and get a sand... I know where this is going. With this trick, we lost four relatives in eight of the cat's nine lives. That critter won't get closer to the living room, even under torture. Ronald's father has never been a green thumb kind of man, but you should see the level of dedication he has for them. Ronald's mother is very satisfied too. She says they give a nice scent to the whole place. Sure. I suggest you avoid careless moves, if you value your skin. I already lost mine a while ago. It's a sort of big ball of dust. And who the hell are you? some respect, stupid bony human. You're looking at the future conqueror of the world. <laughs> Only dumb characters in this game. Don't laugh, that goes for you too. 
Listen, not to curb your enthusiasm, but you look pretty harmless to me. What? I mean, you don't look blessed with any particular abilities or of great intellect. Or any intellect. You can't expect to get very far without a well-constructed plan. Ah, you're right. How about a spider bite? A bite? You're right, it wouldn't work. You're already full of mites and it doesn't look like they're helping you. Maybe with a bit of radiation? Though, come to think of it, I don't think the green would look good on you. I got it! This calls for a nice potion. After all, if it worked for Obelix, I don't see why it shouldn't work for you too. At the very least, you can always opt for an emergency solution, Iron Man style. What do you think? I didn't understand a single word! It's a deal then. I have to go. Bye. I found the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah... Uh... Okay. I feel... I feel a great power in my hands. Wait a minute. I have hands! <laughs> Sounds more threatening already, right? I should turn it on first. I'll leave you to your evil plans. What happened to my wardrobe? I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. Do you think this is the right moment to play games? Man, what an epic fail. I absolutely need the help of someone stronger than me. I've got no other choice. Phallic symbols everywhere, right Sig? In my opinion, you're not so strong after all. What are you talking about? Don't you see I'm a beast? It doesn't seem that way to me. Test me then. Okay. In the room next door, there's a bed. I bet you won't be able to unscrew one of the knobs. It'll be child's play. Is this the knob? It's not a crystal ball, that's for sure. Uh... I don't get it. Yes, that's the one. It's up to me and you now, Nob.
See you around. Backup is coming. Open your jaws and no funny business. It's so liberating. Kind of like when I escaped from prison. I don't know if you're being serious or you're just spectacularly trolling. We'll never find out. Took you long enough, hmm? And where did you pop up from? This van is a wreck. I got out through a hole hidden in the floor. Is there a way to get in from under there? Negative, dude. My head may be huge, but nowhere near like yours. How about taking a ride with me? All aboard! I love these kitschy garden things. In other people's gardens. Oh, you finally did it then. When you use nice manners, you get everything you want, nut. For a moment, I assumed the worst. We need to celebrate. Take this. How the hell often do I have to tell you I'm allergic? It's a damned nut! Do you even have eyes in those sockets? Something stinks here. It wasn't me. I mean, where the hell did those two go? I'll get out. I have to check. Isn't it a bit late? Have you checked the time? <sighs> yeah, from that clock, boss. You can relax. I like lunch breaks. Too bad that pendulum has been stuck for years. First I have to wait until... First, I have to make sure. Those two are still not coming. What are they doing now? I'm going back to take a look.
Better set up the timer to guarantee an escape route. The water is tickling me. I like it. Come on, let's get back to the van and get out of here. I don't like these kind of days. You're telling me. If I find out who pried my van open, ugh. Remember your heart condition, boss. You're right. Let's just think about delivering everything and forget today, okay? Are you ready for the new house? I haven't even thought about it, actually. I just want to talk to Ronald as soon as possible. Why all this rush? Sorry, but I wasn't paying any attention earlier. I was too busy with my nuts. Basically, according to otherworldly laws, the perpetrators of a blood sin will be condemned to eternal damnation when they die. But Ronald's was an accident. That doesn't change anything. It's irrelevant. The only way to prevent this from happening is to confess his crime to someone else. Within five years. And how much time does he have left exactly? Three days. And you're just thinking about it now? I didn't want to overwhelm him. I wanted to give him his space. I really have no words. Ugh, damn spoiled brats. Hey boy, is everything okay? Tell me, that fall cut out your tongue? N no sir Isn't it too early to wear your costume? It's only afternoon. Um, what? You probably hit your head too hard on the ground. It's Halloween today. Otherwise, why would you wear that stupid skeleton costume? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, for Halloween, obviously. Bah. Try not to make too much trouble while you're still around. Capiche? Brats. Where the hell am I? Did someone throw my wardrobe in a dump? Okay, calm down. I know the address of Ronald's new house. The problem is getting the wardrobe over there. 